Police, police say they have found their suspects in a string of thefts targeting businesses in Fitchburg and on the west side of Madison. One of them is just 11 years old. Our Chris Gothner talked to a business owner targeted. Chris, what did they have to say? Yeah, well, that's right, 11 years old. And, and while it's not out of the ordinary for thieves to target businesses, particularly those in busy shopping centers, what is unusual is for one of the thieves to be barely old enough to be a sixth grader. He waited till you know, she had her back turned and just went up, popped open the door and took the money. This is surveillance video of Tabby and Jack's pet supply store and doggy daycare in Fitchburg. It's just one of the businesses police say an 11 year old thief targeted. We're not showing his face because of his age, but store managers say he made off with $180. And every dollar counts here. Um, you know, we're a small family owned business. Manager Katie McGinnis says it was disappointing to learn just how young police say the thief was. I was just really saddened by it. Police say he and a 25 year old man, his mother's boyfriend, took part in a string of thefts at more than a dozen businesses, all of which were located in Fitchburg or on Madison's west side. They say an incident Saturday at the Fitchburg Pick and Save was a strong-armed robbery. You think there's still a measure of innocence with a kid at 11 years old, you know, in everybody's mind. It just kind of boggles the mind. They say the man often acted as a lookout while the boy stole from cash registers or employee break rooms. Madison police say they found the boy with stolen credit cards last night at the Watts Road Walmart. And Fitchburg police say they're trying to figure out if that man put him up to committing the thefts. And that's something that we're taking a look at to see if, you know, if this kid was doing things more on his own volition, if he was being put up to things, if it was a combination of both. You know, it's something that we're trying to, to get to the bottom of. It's okay, come on. It's okay. McGinnis says she feels sorry for the young boy and hopes after all this, he can get his life on the right track. I'd want to give him a hug and just say, you need help. Now, police say the boy is at a juvenile facility. The 25-year-old man could face charges of being party to a strong-armed robbery, being party to a felony theft, and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Now, Leah, police say he's being held at the Dane County Jail tonight. Our Chris Gothner reporting live from the newsroom tonight. Chris, thanks.